How is it going guys and welcome to a brand new series I'm doing on Skyrim Anniversary Edition. This is going to be a series on how to level up every skill in the game from level 15 all the way up to level 100 easily and in a way that you can reproduce infinite amount of times to you know get them to legendary and get basically infinite XP. Now I'm playing on my brand new orc named Orcius Maximus. I totally did not steal that name from Major Slack Attack. And we just escaped Helgen with no XP, we're level 1, I have no money, no nothing. The only thing I have to my name is 4 lockpicks. And for the added challenge, we're gonna play on Legendary Difficulty. Now, as you saw from the title, you already know which um, skill I'm doing in this video, uh, which is Alteration. Now, so the first step, I suppose, is obviously we're gonna go to the Guardian Stones, and we're gonna go quickly hook up the uh, Mage Stone for an extra 20% speed of leveling. Uh, magic abilities. So right here we have the Guardian Stones. Those under the sign of the Mage will learn all the magic fields 20% faster and yeah there we go so that will make my job one fifth more easy which is really good for obvious reasons now also for obvious reasons i am buck naked with no armor and no weapons so <laughs> we're gonna have to avoid combat uh for the time being so like i said this series we're gonna be doing it in a way that's reproducible for pretty much everybody unless you have completely game changing mods equipped so when we eventually get to stuff like conjuration um there's kind of like if you if you have the unofficial patch okay let, let, let me back up if you guys don't know um the conjuration skill tree is kind of broken and you can just cast sword trap on like a dead goat or something infinitely and get xp that way but if you have the unofficial patch on it removes that and i think if you have anniversary it also removes that but i'm not 100 percent sure of it either way that that that, that is completely gone for some people so when we, when we get to conjuration we're not going to be using that um because like i said i want this to be reproducible for everybody and um all right let's start to go get, get, get that stuff out of the way so the reason i'm doing this is because i'm trying to get a few hundred bucks early game now you probably won't have this issue because you know you're, you, you, you're probably not going to be doing this um the challenge way like i am but if you are following along and you want to do the difficult challenge way we're basically just going to rob everything that has a value above one why is this guy yelling at me shut up hard basically everything with a value of more than one <laughs> so we can sell it to lucan and get a slight profit on it I made a video on how to get six and a half thousand bucks at the very beginning of the game So if you're interested in that you should check that video out It is one of my order videos on the channel so keep that in mind quality is not exactly what it could be I'm gonna actually keep that steal a dagger though just cuz you know it's my only weapon right now Okay, so she has been sufficiently robbed So let's head down to Lucan's and see if he'll buy all of this freshly stolen shit Maybe he can sell it back to Gordor for a nice steep profit. I guess some of these things I may as well keep. But the reason we did all of that is because I needed 137 bucks for Oak Flesh, which is going to be the novice level uh, alteration spell. Improves the caster's armor rating by 40 points for one minute. Alright, so we're going to quickly eat that book up, and I guess we're going to favorite it. Right now, it costs a whopping 91 bucks. Um, obviously, that is a lot more than, well, it's not more than I have, but it's an inconvenient amount because I can only cast it once and then that's it so we're gonna have to get more magicka pretty pretty my quickly sister. one way we can go about this is by spying one corundum ingot which he does not have and a little bit of leather and if you have anniversary edition um you can go down to the blacksmith and with one corundum hey, ingot everything. and i think it's four Blades. leather oh god none of them have corundum are you joking uh well if you do get one okay. corundum and i think it's yeah four leather you can make a mage backpack which gives 20 magicka which isn't much granted um but it's something so i'm just gonna use the quick save method to reset his inventory until i get one corundum there we go cost okay it's it costs more than, than i have um well, let me see if I can at least get four leather out of this. Okay, I had just completed the <laughs> quest for Aldevor that you can do if he needs any help around the forge. And I think I just barely have enough money. Holy crap, I am dead broke. All of that just for 20 magicka. Alright, well, that would help us a little bit. <laughs> a 
look at me. I'm naked with a backpack on. All right, for now, this is what we're going to be rocking with. So no point in trying to go out of my way to do a bunch of crazy shit when this is just about as good as it gets. So we're going to head out to Whiterun. All right, there's going to be a war just out over there. So I'm actually going to quickly aggro him and use Oak Flesh just one time, just for that little bit of XP. For those of you who don't know, the way Alteration works is every time you're in combat and you use it, you get XP. Um, well, not necessarily. It's just if you're in combat and it's active, you get XP. So if you use Oak Flesh when you're not in combat, but then you run into combat and people start getting aggroed on you, then you will get XP for it. But something to note is if you use Oak Flesh one time when you're in combat with like one bandit, kill the bandit, and then you still have that same Oak Flesh active and you go fight another bandit, you're not going to get the XP twice. You're only going to get it for the one time because you only used it once. So if you're not, if you don't want to go about this the cheesy way, make sure you use Oak Flesh at least one time every like combat entry that you, you do. Like every time you see an, 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 a new enemy. Maybe I can even use it once on this giant. Boom. Level 16. So I just picked a bunch of cabbage and stuff. I want to sell it to this guy for a little bit of money because like i said i am dead bro um i think i have a bit of leak i don't even want that and the reason i did that is because we are going to winter horde oh my god that giant's gonna be a pain isn't he so you need you need 50 bucks to go to winter horde the idea is um i think that's all of my money jesus the idea is when you join the cottage i believe they give you novice robes of destruction and a novice hood and the novice hood is the important bit. I don't care about the novice robes of destruction that much. So let's see if we can actually do this. So she's gonna ask me to use a spell. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's actually perfect. Okay, but I don't have enough money. You can you can buy the spell off of her, but I don't have enough money. Jesus Christ. Just getting money is like the most challenging bit of this challenge. I think I think it's only like 20 bucks. Right, if I can if I can't muster up 20 bucks, then I don't even know. All right, fine. You could have my petty sword gem and my dagger. Fine. Next time. I may as well just take that as well for five extra bucks. Why not? Okay, mage light. Come on. Fun fact: if you, if if she asks you to make it to do a spell that you can't cast, just quick save beforehand and ask again. All right, thirty bucks. Okay. Okay. Uh, mage light. Boom. I'm pretty sure she gives a novice hood. I'm, it's been a while since I've done this. Let's see. Please, please, please. Novice hood. All right. So that gives me a bit, uh, 30 extra magicka. And also my magicka will regenerate 50% more quickly, which isn't the main bit, but it is definitely really good. Okay, so I'm back at White Run, And what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to steal a horse just to make this go by a bit more quickly. Uh, you want to stop shifting around, bud? If you get behind him, he, you can usually do this. Oh my god, what is he doing? Oh, uh, I think I got caught. Did I? Nope. Okay, we're good. So we're gonna take this horse and we're gonna go to one specific giant camp. So like I told you, um, every time you cast it in combat, it gives you XP. So if you cast it five times, but you're only in combat with one enemy, that still counts as five casts, which is really good. So you can cheese it by just being- What the fuck? Did that deer just fall out of the sky? Uh, okay, that was a bit awkward, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying- Oh yeah, by the way, the, the, the giant camp we're going to is this one, just along the mountainside. Um, so yeah, you can cast it- infinite times on one enemy as long as the enemy doesn't die or as long as he doesn't kill you all right so we're gonna get to this band uh, this giant camp and there's gonna be two giants which is a relatively difficult situation but let's get off all right and if you get on top of this rock he could never attack you unless you're like really stupid and you fall off or something he can't get but this is a, this is a really good band a giant camp to do it at and a really good rock specifically because of how easy it is to jump back on so even if you fall off it's like you you're gonna survive anyway but make sure you make sure you save three cool. Um, let's see. Can I engage him in combat? Okay. Boing. And we're basically just gonna sit up here and cast it. Um, just keep casting it over and over again. Now, if he gets far enough away from you, you can even wait one hour. And that will, you know, instantly replenish all of your magicka. Oh my god, is this guard pursuing me? Because they stole the horse? That is actually kind of funny. Oh my god, is he gonna, he's gonna die too. Stupid fucking guard. <laughs> Oh, I feel bad. I basically doomed him to die. Well, at least I'll be able to steal his equipment when he dies. Unless the giant flings him. 
Goodbye, white run guard. Oh, hey, he came right to me. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So, yeah, he can never get you. We can never climb up on this rock. Uh, he's basically just gonna be constantly pissed. Sometimes he'll run over that way and get the second giant aggroed on you. That doesn't really impact you in any way. So, yeah, we're just basically gonna, just gonna sit here and keep doing this over and over again. See if I can't wait one hour. No, I can't. And if you're playing on PC, if you hold a control and the print screen button at the same time, it increases your game speed, I think it's to 1.5 times regular speed, or it could be 2 times. I don't know, but it makes the game go by faster. That's kind of cheating in my opinion. So you can use that if you want. I'm not going to because I'm going to try not to, to cheat, really, for this. But yeah, you basically just want to wanna like open up Netflix on your second monitor or something. Um, and just watch that or like watch YouTube or do something especially at the beginning This is gonna be a pretty slow process. All right, so I just leveled up That's really good because now I can put more points into Magicka But also I can get the novice alteration perk which allows me to cast it for half as much and for obvious reasons That is gonna speed this up exponentially because now I can cast it, I think, four times for every one level of, for what, for every, like, maximum amount of Magicka. Whereas before, I could only do it one time. I just want to quickly grab this guy's stuff before I forget. Thank you, buddy. Alright, so this is obviously an extremely slow method. After, I, th I think I've been sitting here for about five minutes till I got to level 23. Which isn't bad, because this will speed up as, you know, as you progress. But I would just like to get a little bit more efficiency out of this. So I'm just going to quickly, um run away from this situation. Hopefully I can outrun him. Um, oh damn, I think this hunter's mining. Alright, now that I'm far enough away, let's just go back to white run. So to get uh, just a little bit more XP, a little bit more bang for my buck, we're gonna buy a room at the inn, and then just quickly head on up and get a little bit of sleep. So what this does is it gives us the well rested bonus. If you don't know, that makes every skill 10% easier to level up. So 10% so plus the 20% from the mage stone stacking, that that means we now have 30% um, better leveling, which is great. So basically, every time we level up 10 times, normally, we get, we basically level up 13 times in actuality. So that is going to make this a bit more quick. Let's just quickly get him mad. I think I got the second, <laughs> the second one engaged as well. So now we're just going to keep doing this again, but now with my well rested, um, as you can see, where is it? For eight hours and mage stone, which is permanent, obviously. So if you're not level one, you can do this a lot more efficiently by getting robes that have much higher um like magic or regen or if you're even playing at the really late game you can just make equipment that make oak flesh in any alteration spell like 80% less to cut to cost or 100% even if you're that high level um, so if you're playing in the late game, this becomes a lot easier. Basically, this is possible at any sp stage in the game. The higher you level you are, it's, it's more easy, obviously. So I'm going to quickly pause the recording and I'll be back when uh, I'm at the next step of progression, so to speak. Okay, so I'm now at alteration level 50, and I'm gonna consider this to be the next quote bit of progression. But just so to, to, to recap everything I've done, I've been leveling up every time I get the opportunity, of course, because that instantly regenerates all of your Magicka. But I've also been pumping each point into Magicka for two reasons. One, more Magicka means more alteration, but also the speed at which your Magicka regenerates is directly relative to the amount of mag total Magicka you have. So so no matter what, as you see at the bottom left of my screen, my magic will my magic bar will always fill up at that exact same speed, no matter what. So if I have 100 Magicka, that's probably like, what, one Magicka a second or something? But if I have 10,000 Magicka, then I'm probably gonna be getting like 100 Magicka a second. So the more Magicka you have, the more Magicka you get per second, and obviously the more Magicka you just have total. Yes. Now the next step of progression is we're gonna go quickly back to the Cottage of Winter Horde for a few reasons, and I just kind of want to, I guess, show you the best way of doing this from level one. And yeah, it is taking a long time now, by the way. I've been here for like several hours, um, just c constantly casting alteration over and over again. And I'm only at level 50, so yeah, it does take a very long time. But if you don't want to do it the legit way, this is the best way of doing it. So we're going to talk to Tol of Dior, who is the alteration guy, but since we haven't spoke to him yet, we're going to have to do this bullshit quest. Okay, are you done? He's done. Okay, so now we're going to talk to him. Let's see. I can now buy our apprentice hood. Let's see if I, 
I think I'm gonna refresh his inventory though, because I'm pretty sure I can get, I can do better than that. Sorry, man, I gotta beat you up for a bit. Come on, level 50, we can do better than that. Um, nope, apparently not. Okay, well that is disappointing. So I guess we're not at the next bit of progression like I thought. Damn. Okay, well basically, once we do get to that point, we're gonna need um probably about. Oh, I think I have to. Let's see, adapt. Yeah, I should be an adapt. I wonder why he's not giving it to me. Well, basically, once we do get to that point... Okay, shut up, Braylena. Once we do get to that point, we're gonna need about 5,000 bucks or so. Now, that is obviously a lot of fucking money. Thankfully, the College of Winter Horde has a lot of decently expensive items just laying around that we can take for free because now we are a member, so... Um, this probably will end up giving me, I don't know, probably a few hundred, maybe, maybe a, a thousand bucks, so... So, um, oh yeah, no, no, not, not everything counts as steel as, uh, free, as you can see. But everything that, that is free, we're going to run around and, uh, take. Which apparently is less than I thought. I thought everything was free. I guess I'm mistaken. I uh, see, this stuff is free. Alright, so it looks like most of the stuff that is actually free is the stuff that's in your room, as well as the stuff that is, like, in the communal stuff, like in the Heart of Con Countenance. The alchemy stuff is all free, and all of the, um, like, enchanting stuff in the enchantment room, that's all free as well. But yes, the order of the stuff that technically belongs to him, that's not free. I believe that is, though. That's part of, like, the Creation Club stuff. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go sell everything now and see how much money I've made. I what the fuck? Uh, okay. The will be the judge of that. This guy wants to duel me. Let's see if the guards will help me, because I don't- I'm- I'm- I'm an alteration mage. I am in no position to fight this guy. Help me, please. Yeah, it doesn't look like he wants to help. Well, I'm probably going to die, maybe? Uh-oh. This was not part of the plan. All right, so after I sold everything that I stole from the cottage, I got about 1,400, which is honestly, like, way better than I honestly thought I would get. All right, now just to make a little bit of extra scratch, let's see if we can't do the, uh, wheat, dragon toe, and, uh, creep cluster thing for a little bit. Wheat creep cluster giant. Alright, so Biarch Arcadia would not want to give me giant toe. So, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, it's really vile poison, she says. I don't even think I made a profit on the shit I bought. Wow, great. That's okay, because there is other easy ways of making small sums of money. Um, but I'm gonna do one that I showed off in my video on how to make six and a half thousand bucks within one hour of playing the game, and it's a very easy method. Sure. This method in in, in it of itself does no, not back. give you that much money, but it does give you a few thousand bucks. So if you haven't checked out that video, make sure you do. It does go over some unique strategies on how to make money, but I'm gonna quickly go over, I guess, a few of them. I, I, I will highlight a few of them in this video for you, because I, I just love you guys that much. Alright, so step one is we're going to source time. You, you can do this at any stage in the game. If you wait for the for the cultists to show up and start attacking you, you can go for free. Otherwise, I think it's 250, which is a bit expensive, but we're gonna make way more than that in profit, so it's no biggie. Let's see, Captain Galland? Ah, uh, Galland. Yeah, 250. Eh, that sucks, but it is what it is. Alright, shut up, dude. So once you go to Raven Rock, first thing, you're gonna wanna go left. Okay, we're gonna ignore this guy. Oh my god, why is he doing this? to me okay hopefully he fucks off okay he's not gonna fuck off oh my god let's see if i can cause him to fight with these reavers because i'm gonna need these reavers to die soon so let me quickly search the stash so it's gonna be a bunch of crap and if you loot this guy uh i guess the uh, there we go the, the notebook there it is so now you learn about nordic jewelry but i'm um, also these two reavers are gonna what, what is he's a bit dumb isn't he what the hell he's like not even mad at me <laughs> what the fuck all right well, i guess i'm gonna use this oh geez I may as well even not even yeah. try. Redder and guard. Oh, I think they're looking for the challenger. I think they are fighting him after all. This guy, man, what a dumbass. He's not even close to dead, though. That's the thing. Oh, there we go. Now he's getting there slowly but surely. Uh oh. I think I'm dead. Damn. Okay, good. I didn't even want to live. Okay, he should be dead now. Uh, there we go. Can I get his body? Oh, he had nothing anyways. Okay. Well, now these two reavers are still gonna be attacking me, so if the guard wanted to take care of them. I'm sorry, I can't really help you, bud. All I can do is just get cast in my oak flesh. Come on, just one more hit. There we go. Good job, buddy. Uh, this guy... Oh, yeah, so he does have these things. I'm actually gonna... 
Oh no, I can't equip that because it's going to take away my... Alright, whatever, I just take all of it. And uh, hopefully this guy doesn't die because I'm pretty sure he's like my only help. I guess I could help him. Yeah, I may as well. Why not? Dude, where are you running to? There we go. He is dead now. <clears throat> so now I'm going to wait till day. And I'm just going to sell off all of my shit that I just got. Or keep the sword just in case. Alright, uh, that gave us a pretty penny. About like what? Like almost a thousand bucks. Now we're going to head outside the gate. Over to, I think it's called Serethi Farm. Or something like that. No, I think that's on mainland Skyrim. I forget the name of it. Basically the guard is going to be fighting a bunch of Ash Spawn dudes. And the Ash Spawn themselves aren't really the main focus. Hopefully this guy doesn't die. The main reason I even come out here is because this guy's armor and his sword and bow and everything is really valuable. So we're just gonna take it and then run off to this this island. And the reason we're going to this island is because there's another veteran um, armor guy. And I believe a chest which has a small amount of money on it. Let's go to the tippy top. Uh, Reaver guy, bone mortar gloves. Try not to get hit by those guys. Eat that, eat that. Or not eat, but take. And we're gonna go back to the mainland now before they attack me. Because those, those things will fuck me me up. And it looks like he's still fighting the ash spawn, so I'm just gonna run by and hope they don't notice me. The next and the last location, again, I'm gonna say, is that hut icon on the map. We're gonna have to be very cautious about the way we do this, because we have a, 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 a quite high chance of actually dying and getting soft lock. So we're gonna go in. There's gonna be a few potions on this shelf. One, two, three. There's gonna be that. There's gonna be a chest. And there's gonna be this door. Now, once we're inside, this shit gets a little bit tricky. We're gonna, I think, dual wield my weapons. There's a reaver and a reaver outlaw. Take out the... Uh, okay, I need to equip some, some armor before I die. Uh, hopefully that's decent. Okay, it's gonna quickly pop a level up. Okay, uh, I need HP quickly. Guess we're gonna have to use this. <laughs> Uh, he's a bit- he's being a bit stupid, so I could maybe even actually shoot my elven bow at him. Get some free damage, hopefully. This guy's a bit dumb, isn't he? Let's see if I can even use a bit of flames on him, maybe. Okay, that was really intense. Holy shit. Alright, yeah, on legendary difficulty, that's not exactly the easiest thing to do. But uh, yeah, let's put on my real equipment again. Alright, so there's quite a few things around that has, like, decent value. So make sure you guys do, like, loot properly. Like, if you want to take these books, you can. It's quite annoying picking them all up. But it is really just pennies extra, so if you, don't, you don't have to do that bit. And the snapsack is usually a few things. And then a couple gems. And then there's also some potions. Lots of Argonian maids. That's a few more pennies. And don't forget to loot him. That's basically it. But this bookshelf we can activate. If we go down, there's gonna be a guy with, uh, you know, a few things. Decently valuable. Dwarven ingots and a dwarven boss chest. Which will have, uh, some random stuff as well as, you know, those spores and stuff. That's decently good. And there's also another chest. Don't forget about this one. Yeah, pretty good loot. Now, once we leave this place, there's gonna be a, a, an extremely high probability of dying. So, uh, B card. Just gonna run this way and hopefully I can get far enough away quickly. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's a spriggan matron. Okay, I ran in the wrong direction clearly. Oh my god. Holy shit, that was a bad move. Okay, maybe running in the direction of civilization would be the best decision. Oh my fucking god. Okay, we're gonna put on the, the heavy armor again and also we're gonna oak flesh up. Now we're gonna try. Hopefully I don't get one shot every time. Holy. Okay, well, I've made some distance. Keep going towards Raven Rock. Eventually they'll give up on me. Just keep telling yourself that. Okay, now back to Skyrim. Okay, let's go back to Raven Rock, actually. Sell all of my shit, then we'll go back to Skyrim. Alright, so I'm now up to almost 4,000, which is pretty good. But there is still more stuff we can do to get extra money. So we're gonna quickly go about and do all of that. Alright, so we're gonna go to all of, like, the wheat farms around Skyrim and just pick all of the wheat. So there's, there's wheat at Brandy Mug and then there's wheat at both of these two farms. Then we're gonna go to Battleborn Farm and Chill the Furrow Farm outside of Whiterun. 
they have a bunch of wheat too and um then we're basically gonna run, <laughs> run around the windhelm area to get as much creep clusters as we can and we're not gonna bother with giant toe because we don't need to i mean yeah it would up the value immensely but even without that like that, that that's gonna add so much extra time and the benefit is gonna be good but not necessarily worth it so we're just not gonna bother with all of that bullshit just creep cluster and wheat for me besides it's all i really need anyway all right so i have 38 wheat so now we're gonna try to get 38 creep cluster which will probably take me about like 20 fucking minutes but um yeah let's go do it all right so after collecting for about 10 to 15 minutes i'm four short but i was about to die so i kind of just left and yeah having four less than the need is not really gonna be that big of a deal so let's just get this shit underway All right, there we go. Oh, and let's quickly get rid of that thing. wheat, just so it's not in my inventory. And that's an extra 1,200. Of course, we're gonna have to sell it in increments. Yeah, I'm an extra 1,200 for you. doing something that easy. Pretty good. Okay, and finally, we're gonna get the well-rested bonus one last oh, time. Oh, and we're good. gonna just go back and farm me. until I about sure, level 70, or I think 60, and then see if I can't get some adept robes um, from the college. Because yeah, 5,000 bucks should be about enough for, a pre for an apprentice hood and for uh i'm sorry adept hood and adept robes if not it'll be probably about six thousand but 800 bucks is nothing and we can come by that very easily so um yeah let's quickly aggro him and get back to it Alright, so I'm, I'm at about alteration 65. I just want to quickly point out that you do not want to actually get the dual casting perk. Because that does not give you extra XP. It just costs extra magicka and gives- It costs extra magicka and gives you less XP. So it's like the ultimate waste of time and um, XP. But now that I'm at level 75, I'm pretty sure that's high enough to get um, adept stuff. I suppose we're just gonna have to see. Right, yeah. Sadly, sadly, I am pretty sure that Tolf Dior is- waiting for us at, at uh, Sarthal, so we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to go down that way, but before I spend, actually, you know, let's just fucking go, I've made it, please that give me some good shit, yes, an adept hood, and, well, right now he doesn't have an adept robe, but I guess I just have to wait a little bit, this will give me 20 more magicka than my current novice hood, so we are obviously going to do that, and apprentice robes is 15, let's see if I can reset his inventory, and, uh, you know, get adept, because that would be what I would want. Um, yeah, he does not. But honestly, the 15% and the extra 75% magic regen is good enough for me. Because now it's going to be cheaper to cast. But also, we're going to have faster magic regen than we did previously. So I count this as a major W. Now, you may, you may be wondering why I'm doing this when I'm already at level 65. And that is because this is where it, it really it really slows down. Um, yeah, so I, I just want to make sure that every possible advantage I have... I am taking advantage of. So now we're gonna go back to the Bearded Mayor, get the well rested bonus, and then I think we're gonna do the final grind. Alright, here we go. So just to kind of recap everything, I have 270 Magicka, I have 15% less to cast, 75% faster regen, and each Oak Flesh costs 30 each and um yeah i think we're just gonna grind here for the rest of the like for the rest of the grind we're just gonna stay in this spot and just finish up i guess let's see i can cast two four six eight nine i can cast nine of um for one bar of magicka so um yeah i guess i'm just gonna sit here and finish up um and i guess i'll see you guys in several hours see you then there it is. Holy shit. That has taken me so goddamn long to get alteration maxed out. And just the final step, you're now going to get every perk in the skill tree just to fully be able to say that I maxed it out. Now this is not necessary. <laughs> this maxing it out bit, but I just I feel like I want to you know and plus a lot of those perks are actually like unironically good But there we go. That is episode one of Orceus Maximus's journey of getting every skill to level 100 from level 15 Now obviously in this video I have leveled up a few other skills a few other times like speech I was that was at 20 alchemy was at 15 You know I, I whatever okay. I don't I don't care that much Um, as long as they don't get past like 
level 30, and I think I think we're chilling. And yeah, we have uh, some equipment which I guess I can carry over over until the next video, and a bit of money, so that will be beneficial. Now the only thing left to do is make sure I save this goddamn progress, and to just run away, get out of that situation. Goodbye, giants. I am never coming back. Oh, of course this guy would have something for me. Would he? Well, yeah, that is episode one completed. Make sure you guys do. Uh, consider becoming a channel a member. You can it only costs two ninety nine a month, and you know it supports me greatly. I'm gonna do member only live streams once a week. Um, once I actually get to ten members, make sure that you do do that if that interests you. If not, no need. But yeah, if you don't want to become a channel member, I completely understand. You can always just subscribe or leave a like. As this video has taken me several hours long, and uh, if you found it entertaining, you know any support helps. But of course, it's completely optional. And I mean, I think you guys are watching next video. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be doing I think next video we're gonna try next video will be destruction that way I can actually you know engage in combat Um yeah if that interests you subscribe and I'll see you all next time peace out